What's going on YouTube? Chamber Productions here coming back at you with another video. And in today's video, I'll be actually talking about the production process of the short film I recently did called The Night Titanic Sank. This goes over everything from the built the building of the RMS Titanic model all the way down to filming and what went down filming. So this is kind of a director's cut, if you will, um, of that uh, short film. But I'll be going over, as I mentioned, how the Titanic was built. This is a 1570 scale RMS Titanic model that I've actually converted from a model kit into a, a full-fledged Titanic model that actually sinks and splits like the actual RMS Titanic did all those years ago. So if you guys are ready, let's get to looking at how this film was made. So for this whole project, I started out with a Revel um, model kit of the RMS Titanic. This is a 1570 scale RMS Titanic, and you can get them on eBay now for about $20 or so. I've seen some that have run for about $15, $16. They're not all that expensive, but I started off with this model kit, and I started by painting the main hull of the ship a red. Uh, this is a flag red that I use. It's all acrylic paint. Um, then I started adding the black paint on the sides and the yellow striping down the sides, and I started painting the propellers a nice gold. Then after that was done, I painted. I started painting the uh, top deck and the smokestacks, and uh, you can see the ship here. It's not glued together just yet. Uh, that was one of the key things. I just wanted to see what it would look like half together, but I started gluing the decks together and painting them. The smokestacks were an interesting process of elimination because they weren't a specific orange or yellow, so it made painting them super, super, super <laughs> After that, I added the black trim around the top of the smokestack, and then I started gluing them into place. So after I started gluing them into place, I started adding on all the intricate details of all the pipes and whatnot that run along the top of the deck. Um, this included literally just about everything you see here. Um, as you can see, all these pipes and lifeboats and all these intricate details had to be glued into place manually. But then after that, I had everything pretty much set up here, and I started painting the front uh, bow part of the deck and the stern part of the deck, and started painting the more intricate details there as well. And then after I painted that, I clear coated it to make sure it wouldn't chip or come off in the water, and then I, glue, I glued the hull together, and I started gluing the deck together, and I made sure the hull was waterproof, and uh, I just made sure there wasn't any leaks in the ship yet. Then after that, I glued the decks together, and that was it. I had finished the RMS Titanic, and that's what it's going to look like right now. Um, it hasn't had any internal work done to it yet, so this is what it looks like complete, and it is a beautiful thing to behold, but the work doesn't stop there. Then I had to get the ship weighted, so after I got the uh, ship built, the waiting process was done, and this took a lot of trial and error. As you can see here, I definitely didn't want it to pull an HMHS Britannic and topple over in the water. It's definitely not what I wanted. So after I got the ship balanced and everything with all the different weights, I used pennies and quarters and stuff to weight it out, and it had to be astronomically precise. But after I got that done, it floated perfectly. And then it was time to build a watertight compartment. I used a water bottle, cut it up into halves and then I would cut those halves into smaller pieces to go on the inside of the Titanic itself and these watertight doors are going to regulate the water flow to give it the bow down motion that the Titanic had during the sinking so I glued them all into place and I used a lot of hot glue and then I started cutting the uh, iceberg damage in the hull of the ship now I did this in the front part and then I started cutting the ship in half. I had to use a soldering iron. Is there better ways to do this? Yeah, there really is, but that's really all I could do. So I used a soldering iron to cut the bow in half in between the third and fourth smokestack, and that was pretty much it. I added a magnet so it would connect to that bra that bracket, and that was it. I finally built the uh, Titanic model. So building it it was a bit of a process, definitely. All the intricate details and whatnot, but it definitely did pay off. We can see here that the ship tested quite nicely. I mean, these shots really are nice, and it sank 
really, really nicely. Now, when it came time for the actual filming of the video, I got a giant Tupperware container, a green screen, and a ring lamp. I did have to reconfigure the ring lamp, so this photo isn't accurate to what I actually had it as, but filming. Filming was a different ballgame, for sure, because for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because I ended up having to mess with the magnet or not, the ship would not break in half. Literally, I took about 16 shots of the ship sinking, and only one of them resulted in in the ship breaking in half and that is this shot right here this is the only shot in the actual video that you see the ship actually breaking in half like it's supposed to every other shot i had to fake in the long run so if you've ever seen steven spielberg's jaws the shark is not working the shark is not working except this time it's with a 1570 scale rms titanic model but overall the process of building the ship it was really cool getting to build it it's definitely a really cool piece and the film the short film itself turned out really really nicely and i'm really pleased with it overall it was a pretty fun experience i, I gotta admit it was something unique something i haven't really done before and i'm glad i did it in the long run because it, it really did come out nicely in my opinion I really am happy with the end product of this film. You know, I feel like it it turned out really well. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the film as I did in making the film itself and all that good stuff. But guys, that's all from me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all from me, Chamber Productions, signing off.